everybody, it's April and I am back with kind of an odd tutorial today. And it's kind of a mix of Silhouette and Cricut. So the Silhouette Design Store contains lots of cool cut images. And recently Silhouette decided to offer SVG files in addition to the Silhouette images that you can purchase in the design store. And we'll get into all that in a minute. So what that means is you can use SVG files from the Silhouette design store for those images that offer the SVG option. You can load those into your Cricut design space and cut them out. So you can cut out silhouette images regardless of whether or not you have a silhouette. It, it means even more if you go up to the business edition of the silhouette software because you can create your own designs in the silhouette software and that software is a very, very powerful software, and save them as an SVG, and this is only in the business edition, and bring them into your Cricut design space and cut them out. You can also cut them out on any cutting machine that allows you to use SVGs. So if I go to Silhouette America, the software for the basic version of the Silhouette Studio is free. That doesn't give you the opportunity to save images as SVGs, but it is free. And you can have a design store subscription regardless of whether or not you have a Silhouette machine. So you have the free account in the design store where you just pay so here it tells you how much each image is and once you purchase that image that image is yours forever so that's an option you can also have a subscription and those are there are different tiers and they cost different amounts I can't remember which one I have but I think I get $150 to spend every month and I believe my subscription is like $15. So it's a really good deal. There are lots of images to choose from. Doodlebug has images. Now Doodlebug does not have an option to save your file as an SVG. So let's see, let's just do a find on pumpkin and see if we can find a pumpkin that allows you the SVG option. So I'm going to click on this pumpkin and this particular pumpkin allows you to purchase the SVG bundle. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to add it to my cart. And then I'm going to go to my cart. As you can see, I have quite a large credit I don't shop enough, if that's even possible. And then I'm going to enter my password. And then it will say that I've checked out. Offer me the option to share on Facebook. And allow me to download my SVGs. And I'm getting a little ahead of myself, evidently, because, you know, that's what happens when you want something to go more quickly then it's going. So do, 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 do. And then my cat steps on the keyboard. Do, 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 be, do, be, do, be. Okay. So here it says, do you want to tell everybody on Facebook? I'm not going to do that right now. And you can print a copy of your order and you can view download items. So here is my pumpkin and you have the option to download just one SVG or you can select all and download now and of course this will probably nah, this worked pretty quickly okay 
So down here it tells me I've got a zip file. I have a, a system. So I save my SVGs to Dropbox so that I can get to them from any of my machines. And then in my SVG file on Dropbox, then I have Silhouette SVGs. So these are the SVGs that I've saved. Okay, where we go? Let's see. I think I lost my other finder window. Yep, I did. So file, new. I'm going to go to Dropbox, SVGs, Silhouette SVGs. Now, the first time I did it, I just pulled the individual SVGs into my folder to save them. And it looks like since this is the only order, I'm not going to get a file with an order number. So I'm going to pull it over here and save it. But when I've done large orders, I've put them in folders with the order number so that if I need to get that SVG back, I can relate it back to an order. And when I go, <coughs> excuse me, into my account and I can see my download history, it gives me an order number. So if I did something with one of the files in the order, then I can easily relate that order on the file in my SVG file folder back to my account on Silhouette. Okay, so enough of that. So today I'm going to show you how we can open that in Design Space. So here I'm going to upload and upload an image, browse. I'm going to go to the SVG files folder and my Silhouette SVGs and I'm going to double click my pumpkin SVG and the upload SVG contains not supported text elements import anyway let's see what happens okay so what it did was it created this file and it's going to convert my image into cut lines. So I'm going to put silhouette pumpkin and then I'm going to put silhouette SVG and I'm going to click save and we'll see what happens. Alright so here it says it's uploaded going to insert images. These are kind of small. I'm going to make them bigger. <clears throat> and here are my different images. Now it didn't save them with different colors. So I'm going to ungroup and then I'm going to change the color on this image. So we're going to make him what color are we going to make him? We'll make him Adobe Clay. We'll pick this one. We'll change that one to a mango. That doesn't look bad. Then we're going to take this one, click the color, <coughs> excuse me, change that to a cocoa. So we've got our brown outline. Then we've got leaves over here. I'm going to group these three together. So I just selected them and held the shift. Let me show you how I did that. Okay, so I selected this first leaf. Now I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to select the second leaf and I'm continuing to hold the shift key down and I'm going to select the third leaf. Then I'm going to go to, let's see, oh, I haven't grouped them yet. So then I can either right click or, like this, I can right click on the image and group, or I can do it all over again since I didn't click group, and I also have the option of going up here and clicking group. Now, all my leaves should show up together, and it, there's a group, and then each individual leaf is under the group. 
So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change him to green. And evidently I'm going to have to do that. Nope, I want him to be the same color on each of these images. And I'm, you know, there's there are going to be nuances because this SVG was pulled in from somewhere else. But I can live with that. Let's see, does this go? Hmm. Okay, then I've got my stem and I'm going to make that brown. I think I want it to be the same color brown as the outside of my pumpkin. And then this stem, what color am I going to make that? Let's make that just a darker green. Okay, so I have all my images. Let's see how big. Eh, that's kind of small. So I'm going to go ahead and group all these guys together. And all I did was start over in the upper left-hand corner and just drag a box across all of my images. I'm just going to make them a little bit bigger. And actually, I'm going to drag all these over here. And I don't just want one pumpkin. I want two pumpkins. So I'm going to select all the images because they are not grouped together. I'm not, I don't want to group them together yet. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate. So that gives me two pumpkins. And if I wanted to make this pumpkin a little smaller, then I'm going to right click and duplicate. And I'm going to drag this one out here and I'm going to make it even a little bit smaller. Okay, so now I've got my images that I want to use and I'm going to click make it. And it works just perfectly. So I've got all my mats. I have, let's see, five mats. I've got all my different size pumpkins and my little stems and leaves. On the first one, I've got my pumpkin outline, my solid pumpkin, my leaves, and my stems. All right, so that is an option if you've always liked the images in the design store. There are, I, just the number of images is crazy. And every week there's a new free design. Now that doesn't mean that you're going to be able to save that design as an SVG. So we can go in here and this one Okay, so this design is free with the purchase of any one design. But I did see that you can get the SVG bundle. So you might want to check it out if you are interested in having access to lots of designs. There are prints. If it's something that is to be printed, you'll see this P in a square. I don't necessarily think that's going to work. Yeah, that's not going to work with your your Cricut or your Scan and Cut or Create and Cut, whatever those the other brother is. But any of the SVG files that any of the Silhouette Studio files that allow you to save images as SVGs you should be able to use in your Cricut Design Space. All right, they have a uh, subscription sales quite often. You can get on their mailing list. I think just a week or two ago, all images were 50% off. So just something to think about. And I will have a picture of my pumpkin card on my blog. Thank you for stopping by. Everybody have a good day. If this was helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more tutorials like this, please hit subscribe.